Colorectal cancer is the second most common cause of death from cancer in this country. It's important to understand that, but it's also important to understand that colorectal cancer is one of the only cancers that we can actually prevent. Almost all colorectal cancer starts off as a small growth in the colon, known as a polyp. And over a period of somewhere between 10 and 15 years, some of those polyps can turn into colon cancer. Currently, colorectal polyps are classified under the microscope. These polyps and surface, based on morphology, look quite similar, and it takes years of training and practice and experience to differentiate them. As a pathologist, we receive uh, hundreds of polyps throughout the day from colonoscopy and sigmoidoscopy procedures. The concern with the method of classifying the polyps is some of the polyps may look almost the same. However, they may have a different malignant potential or they may progress to cancer at a different rate. Based uh, on our conversation with pathologists here at Darmus Hitchcock, we identified this problem that there is a gap in accuracy of classification. So to address this problem, we adopted a supervised learning approach. This AI, artificial intelligence and machine learning, enhances the ability of pathologists to accurately assess the risk from that polyp for future precancerous polyps or colon cancer. This is a type of technology that has been used in self-driving cars and robots and so on, and we brought it to this problem. For the average individuals, this kind of research will help them to get an accurate diagnosis of which kind of polyps that the patient has. You can have colorectal cancer and have no idea. And you certainly can have polyps and have no idea. And that is exactly why people definitely should get screened. And if we do the appropriate tests and we find the polyps and we remove them, then we can prevent the person from ever getting colorectal cancer at all. We hope that this technology becomes available to many clinics and hospitals, particularly in rural settings that this specific expertise to read these slides might not be available.